The first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach. Get the best education with forensic classes by Diksha and make your net forensic exam dreams come true. Download the app now. Before starting today's class, a quick reminder that we have an application. Application ke link aapko description mein mil jayegi. Wahan se aap isse download kar sakte hain. Aap Play Store se bhi isse download kar sakte hain. And App Store se bhi isse download kar sakte hain. Jaise aap application download karenge, aapko login karna hoga. Login karne ke baad aap store pe click kar sakte hain. Store mein aapko course list milegi. Is course list mein se aap apna desired course select kar sakte hain. And enroll kar sakte hain. For example, agar mein forensic science and net ke preparation kar rhiho. To mein forensic science net ka course select karungi. Agar mein criminology की प्रिपरेशन कर रही हूँ तो मैं यूजीसी ने क्रिमिनोलॉजी का कोर्स सेलेक्ट करूंगी अगर मैं मास्टर्स की प्रिपरेशन कर रही हूँ मुझे सेमेस्टर क्लासेस चाहिए तो मैं सेमेस्टर क्लासेस का कोर्स चूज करूंगी फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर मैं यूजीसी नेट फोरेंसिक साइंस की प्रिपरेशन कर रही हूँ तो मैं फोरेंसिक साइंस का कोर्स चूज करूंगी अगर मैं क्रिमिनोलॉजी की प्रिपरेशन कर रही हूँ तो मैं क्रिमिनोलॉजी का कोर्स चूज करूंगी इसके अलावा सेमेस्टर क्लासेस भी अवेलेबल है एंड फोरेंसिक के फील्ड में जितने भी एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन बी एस सी एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन एम एस सी एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन के कोर्सेज भी अवेलेबल है इसके अलावा साइंटिफिक ऑफिसर साइंटिफिक असिस्टेंट के कोर्सेज भी अवेलेबल हैं तो आप अगर किसी भी एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन किसी भी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन की प्रिपरेशन कर रहे हैं फोरेंसिक साइंस एंड क्रिमिनोलॉजी के फील्ड से तो वो सारी की सारी क्लासेस आपको सिर्फ और सिर्फ मिलेंगी हमारे एप्लीकेशन पे तो हमारा एप्लीकेशन डाउनलोड आप कर सकते हैं गेट टू डाउनलोड अवर एप्लीकेशन एंड स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन विद आर सो बेसिकली वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ कोर्सेज इन अवर एप्लीकेशन वीडियो लेक्चर कोर्स एंड स्टडी मटेरियल कोर्स सो वीडियो लेक्चर कोर्स में आपको सारी की सारी चीजें मिलती है वीडियो लेक्चर पीडियर स्टडी मटेरियल मॉक टेस्ट पीवीएस क्वेश्चन पेपर एवरीथिंग स्टडी मटेरियल कोर्स में आपको सिर्फ और सिर्फ स्टडी मटेरियल प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स और मॉक टेस्ट मिलते हैं वीडियो लेक्चर्स में इंक्लूडेड नहीं होते हैं सो दैट्स द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन वीडियो लेक्चर कोर्स एंड स्टडी मटेरियल कोर्स सो इट्स क्लियर नाउ यू कैन जॉइन दीज क्लासेस अकॉर्डिंग टू योर प्रिपरेशन एंड स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग विद आर Let's understand forensic entomology. Forensic entomology is again related with forensics. Entomology is the study of insects. Okay, it is the study of insects. Whatever we have in entomology, we are using in forensic. We are using to solve some crime. We are using to estimate time since death, etc. So it becomes forensic entomology. It is the scientific study of insects, as I said, uh, of forensic importance. It is the scientific study of insects, as I said. But we study only the insects which is forensically important. what does that mean so some insects they come to feed on decomposing and dead body so because of that we can identify the time since death and those specific insects which come to the dead body or to decomposing body those insects are forensically important okay we are not going to study the entire species or different type of insects in the whole world but we have some specific class of insects which come on the dead body which comes to the corpse and feed on it so that's why it becomes forensically important and that's why we focus on them only and it helps in medical legal investigation why it helps in medical legal investigation so here we are using medical with legal so medicinal knowledge with legal system or you can say forensic medicine helps to estimate time since death you must have heard about the dead body is 5 days old or 10 days old or 7 days old so we can estimate the specific time on the basis of insects because they come to the dead body at a specific time because when the dead body decomposes it creates some specific type of um odor so because of that odor they get attracted towards that dead body and because of that we can identify the time since death the time of decomposition and basically we can say the time since death so pmi determination is again a really very important thing that is post mortem interval so post mortem interval is nothing but time since death we have entomotoxicology so entomotoxicology is again related with toxicology with entomology toxicology is something which is related with harmful effect of toxins so now here insects are creating some toxic effect or they are creating some toxins so it becomes entomotox so it becomes entomotoxicology then we have dna evidence dna is a really very important thing in forensic in entire forensic dna is something else dna is the like you can say dna is the most dna is the most um, 
there is the most prestigious evidence you can say or the most important the inevitable evidence of forensics so so dna based evidence has become the significant tool the law enforcement look up to dna evidence can identify the person it can help it helps in personal identification nuclear dna evidence has been recovered from blood semen saliva skin cells and hairs as we all know that each cell have nucleus and in nucleus we have dna so any type of cell which is present in a crime scene if that have and if that have a nucleus that cell will have dna and that dna we can extract and identify it and with the help of that dna we can identify different persons and apart from that we have nuclear dna we have mitochondrial dna so nuclear dna comes from blood semen saliva so these are the most frequently recovered evidences from any from any crime scene and apart from that we have mitochondrial dna from bone teeth and it is preserved in bone and teeth and we can date back the time as well laboratory analysis of dna evidence generally involves the sample being amplified and quantified by a form of polymerase chain reaction really very important we call it pcr so pcr is um, you can so pcr is an amplification technique with the help of pcr we can amplify the dna we can work on that dna even if we have small amount of dna which comes from a crime scene of course if you are getting some dna sample from a crime scene you will have the minute minute amount of dna evidence and you have to amplify it before working on it so we use pcr we have a uh, so we have different types of pcr we use pcr technique to amplify it and then we can identify and the content dna sample okay so that's about it everyone thank you so much for watching this video have a great day ahead and if you haven't subscribed our new channel this channel so do subscribe this channel we will upload more and more videos with english explanation in this channel so don't forget to subscribe this and if you like this video you can click the like button and share this video with your friends so they can know about about it and they can share with their friends as well thank you so much again all the best for your studies for your upcoming exams or anything if you are preparing for ugc net in criminology or in forensic science we do have an application the link of that application will be in the description box you can download it and you can join the classes available in our application so thank you so much for watching this again and have a great day ahead take care of yourselves and see you guys in the next video till then take care bye